So we have uh, an observer standing 700 feet away from a launch pad. So here's your observer, here's your launch pad to observe a rocket launch. The rocket blasts off and maintains a constant velocity of 90 feet per second. So if I call this length y, the velocity is the rate at which that is increasing. So that's telling me that dy dt is 900. Uh, and they want to know how fast is the observer to the rocket distance. So here's your rocket blasting off up here. Observer to rocket distance, I'll call that z. Uh, how fast is that changing? So how fast, that's a rate, the rate at which this is changing. So we want to find dz dt when the rocket is 2400 feet from the ground. So when this length uh, when y is 2400. So now that we've translated the, math, the English into math, we just need a very, uh, an equation to relate all these variables. And we see this right triangle, so we have our trusty Pythagorean theorem, 700 squared plus y squared equals z squared. We're going to take the derivative of both sides, derivative of a constant is 0, so I'll have 2y dy dt equals 2z dz dt. They want me to find dz dt, so if I just solve for that, divide by 2z, the 2's will cancel. I'll get y dy dt over z equals dz dt. And I just need to plug stuff in. I know at the particular moment I'm looking for, the y is 2400. They told me that dy dt is 900, and the z, I don't know the z uh, yet. So what I need to do is at that particular moment in time when the y is 2400, I can use Pythagorean, use that same uh, starting equation that you did to find this. And you could just recognize that this is a 724-25 triangle and get that fast. Or you can plug in the 24 for the y, solve for z, you'll get 2500 there. So we'll put 2500 down here, and that's our dz dt. So pretty much done. The only thing we need to do is to clean this thing up. Uh, let's see. And I'm checking out the answer. It looks like this is going to be... 864 when you're all done with it. And there you go. Or oh, I should put in units. The uh, It's a distance with respect to time, so it's feet per second in this case. So 864 feet per second. There you go.